Hi everyone, my name is Marie Mushin and you're watching Pick Talk TV. Well, I hope everybody had themselves a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. It was certainly a beautiful weekend for the festivities, so I hope you all had a great time. And now we're ready to face the week ahead and we've got a lot of great things going on, so we're just going to get on with the show. My guests today include Bob Allen from Computer Health Services, Christine McComb from The Natural Way, and Dot High is here with the Theatre News. And of course today we are filming from the Hamilton the Mountain Theatre and it's a wonderful location so I hope you're going to get a chance to come up and check us out. Our, our news and events, we have the Women Who Excel Breakfast Network event on May the 22nd and that topic of that event is doing business with the government so it's going to be a very interesting event and May the 29th is the Women Who Excel their evening dinner network event. Laura Reed from Earth Moves on May the 26th is having the Sacred Earth Movement and you can find out all that information on peopleandconnection.net. Our People and Connection Network events, well we're really excited because the week is, big week is here. Our evening showcase network event is tomorrow night, Tuesday, May the 15th, starts at 6.30 at the Casablanca Hotel in Grimsby. If you haven't got your tickets yet, come online at our website at peopleandconnection.net or through peopleandconnection.com. The links are on both pages um, to get your tickets. And then we also have a free Friday network event here at the Mountain Theatre, and that's this Friday, May the 18th, is our very first one. Um, just to give everyone a chance to come up, check out the theatre, do a little mix and mingle, and um, network with each other. Our People can in Connection Network events are coming back up again in June, of course. We have Burlington on Tuesday, June the 5th. Niagara Falls is Wednesday, June the 6th. And then Hamilton is Wednesday, June 13th, and that's a morning event. And St. Catharines is Wednesday, June 13th as well, and that's a lunchtime event. So you can start out the morning in Hamilton and head down the road to St. Catharines for the event at 11.30. So my first guest today is Bob Allen from Computer Help Services. And Bob's been doing a series, Computer Anatomy, as sexy as it gets. And today is the wrap-up for that. Yes, Hello, Bob. Is. How yeah, are great. you today? Well, I'm very excited about the wrap-up, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. And how have you been? I've oh, been excellent. Excellent. Yeah, yourself? I'm um, fine, thank you, Bob. I've been oh, doing a little moving and shaking and traveling around yes. the countryside lately. Yes, so I got a little tan. Yes, I <laughs> got a little bit of tan and, and yeah. came back to uh, nice, nice weather here yeah. too. Oh yeah, so. one of the wonderful things about being a business owner, you get to enjoy that. That is true. That's right. That you, is true. You can give yourself the time <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. So, application so. software is our topic for today, I hear. Yes. Yes. So, yes. What, so what's this all about? What do we do? Okay. So application software is really software that you put on the computer, which is uh, the reason you bought the computer. Mm -hmm. um, and there is a lot of software out there. You can go into various stores and look in their software sections. Okay. And some of it, most of it is application software. Um, there's one exception to that, which is something like this. This, this is an antivirus uh, kind of software. Okay. This one's Norton, but mm -hmm. there's all kinds. Uh, out there and uh, nobody usually uh, I say application software test for whether it's application software or not is whether is that why you bought the computer okay and mm -hmm. so you didn't uh, buy the computer so you could put on an antivirus of course that's, <laughs> of course that's a necessary not. evil but yeah. it is it is software that's over and above um, yeah. and uh, an extension of the operating system mm -hmm. really um, but most software uh, is um, Pseudo, pseudo, it, it's it's uh, well, well one big segment of software application software is games. Right, of course. Uh, and in the early days, uh, a lot of people bought. That's why they bought computers just to play games. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of that has gone onto the net now, and as, as a lot of things have. Um, uh, other very common application software is um, something like Microsoft Office or mm -hmm. a suite. Uh, what used to be Word Perfect Suite and uh, different uh, manufacturers made different suites. There's one here I have, it's called Office Ready. This one, uh, just a leftover one I had from years ago. Um, and uh, these are, uh, give you things that you can do with the computer. Nothing to do with running the computer, but things like Excel and Word and um, PowerPoint. And okay. these, are, mm -hmm. these are things that you want to do with the computer. Another common one too is, now, is, is a, uh, an accounting system, especially for, for business owners. Uh, so if you had 
uh, small business, you can go out and uh, buy uh, for $150 an average price, I guess, a wonderful accounting system. Mm -hmm. um, there are different, uh, different ones out there. Not as many now as there used to be. There's been a bit of a fallout right, in yeah. the number of uh, uh, suppliers. But uh, there's still, uh, back in the, the days before I started my own business, um, working in a corporate environment, we used to, it would take, if we wanted to develop an accounting system, it would cost like $10 million. It would, right. it would take five years to develop <laughs> and it would be over, and, and when it was yeah. done, it would be over budget and over time mm -hmm. and everything. And for $150, you could buy an accounting system that's better than what we used to have then and more flexible. And oh, yeah. It, it's, it's uh, just a wonderful, uh, wonderful thing to do. And it's, uh, it's actually very user friendly, so mm -hmm. you can do it yourself. Uh, if you don't want to have anything to do with it, you can have an, a, a bookkeeper or an accountant uh, do it for you. Right. Um, and, and just having come through the tax season, we can't not mention that one. There's <laughs> a piece of application software, a tax program, right. and a very, very popular um, mm -hmm. uh, what people are doing with those. And so I think um, now there's we have to look a little bit at the future and mm -hmm. see what is coming in that sense. And I think that it's pretty clear now that cloud computing is, is where things are going. And the software sections in uh, computer stores and, uh, and so on will start shrinking because the things that you want to do with the computer will be available in the cloud. Yes. For example, mm -hmm. in the old days you would have um, Outlook Express as a mail system. Mm -hmm. It's on your computer. That's, right. that's application software that's running on your computer. Mm -hmm. Um, or anything like it, what we call it, it's a client email service. Uh, but most people today have, uh, if I said Gmail, um, Hotmail, mm -hmm. um, all kinds of uh, mail systems that are resident in the uh, cyberspace, so to speak. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's a wonderful thing if you're traveling because you can get on any computer that has web yeah. access and, and access your email. Um, exactly. And, and I'm finding that too, like even with websites, you know, me doing websites and hosting and things like that, you know, our, the clients that have email, uh, their, their webmail, right on their hosting service. And a lot more people are starting to take advantage of, of that. Now, mm -hmm. the, you know, my only concern, of course, is the reliability of, you know, something happening to that while it's sitting in cyberspace. Yes. <laughs> you know, and, and, and of course we've seen that happen, especially with things like, you know, the Hotmail accounts and, that, you know, getting hacked into and all of a sudden all their data is gone. Um, now, is there, do you know, is, is there a way to back that up or is that just up to... Yeah. The individual to you're surrendering the uh, the, uh, the ability and but you know um, you send your data to Revenue Canada yes um, right right with a tax mm -hmm. program right and yeah. uh, and you you rely on the security and the yeah. and, the, and, the, and the procedure and uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, this may be heresy but may, I'm sure Revenue Canada has been hacked into we probably haven't heard about it yeah <laughs> uh, but, um, it but seems any of the big systems are vulnerable to hackers and of course the more secure they are of course the more people want to find out what they're, what's in behind the locked door. It just creates a <laughs> challenge yes. and, uh, and anything that's built by man can be unbuilt by man pretty well. Yes. I, I think that's it. But, but nevertheless it's mm -hmm. such a convenience and yep. there's so many good features to that and uh, even software that you used to buy that might have been a little bit pricey a couple of hundred dollars mm -hmm. maybe yeah. you now basically rent it there's lots of business yep. software where people in certain businesses mm -hmm. I had a client who was in the they were they had an eyeglass store yeah. and another one that had a tanning uh, salon and so on and the software that they use in those particular uh, businesses mm -hmm. uh, are they're really using software yeah. uh, uh, in the cloud we call it mm -hmm. uh, or and uh, they're not buying it; they're just renting it. Well, exactly. And of course, you know, with you know iPads and tablets and everything, a lot of people they're syncing all that data between their tablet and their home computer. Yes. So, and as you say, the cloud plays an important role because it goes from there to the cloud to the computer. That's right. And that's becoming huge, you know. And let's face it, a lot of people are just, you know, consumers. I find are a lot of them are just going to their tablets. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of them are doing away with their actual computer system. I find, you know, unless you're actually in business anymore, or, mm -hmm. you know, and even to play the games. You know, let's face it, 
years ago Pong on your computer yes. with that little ball bouncing back and forth yeah. wasn't, you know, we thought it was a big deal at that time. Yeah. But now we find, of course, the games, don't, don't you agree that the games drive the systems, the hardware? They drive the hardware, yes. yes. The technology development because the games, uh, gamers are at the edge yes. on, the, on the video. Mm -hmm. Well, there's three areas. There are on, on, we've covered all these in yeah, uh, we the, did. the yeah. former section, yeah. but in the, in the video and in the sound mm -hmm. and, um, and in the speed yeah. more, more than that, the speed and yeah. also the, somewhat the capacity, uh, yeah. the hard drive capacity. Yeah. So over the years, the gamers have driven that up. And that's why uh, a lot of people buy, uh, we, we sell uh, refurbished uh, equipment, yes. uh, computers, and uh, most of them are, com are were originally used by businesses. Mm -hmm. And the business machines are, were not nearly as high spec if you, you know, yeah. to say, for example, um, uh, maybe you'd have a 500 gig, yeah. gig hard drive in a consumer uh, machine right. and maybe uh, 80 gig hard drive in a business machine because right. they, because they are actually it's in a, it's a mini cloud in a way because mm -hmm. the server in the business um, is really Where the cloud to them that's right yeah, and and all the applications and the data is stored on there mm -hmm. the computer is more or less um, a, a terminal yeah. for access uh, in business so they're not nearly as uh, highly spec but they do meet most people's needs mm -hmm. um, unless you're a, a gamer or a graphic artist or something that has a, a someone or a musician for example uh, mm -hmm. well, some of the some of the software that's available for musicians yes it's it's pretty amazing <laughs> yeah. yeah it's incredible oh yeah, yeah. and definitely like you know a lot of artists are going to you know with digital art and you know that form of thing, type of thing but as to say though you know the software and the app, all the different applications now are definitely driving the hardware. Yes. So, and you know, it's always interesting to see where that's going. Yeah. You know, and to see the sophistication of it. You know, to to see a video game now on a computer is it just if you blows, remember it blows me away. if you remember yeah. what they were like. Uh, you know, oh, 10, yeah. 10, 15 years ago. Oh yeah, 20 years. <laughs> and ago. now they're in little <laughs> handheld, you know, PS3s or yeah, and you know, they're all 3D Xbox. and they all look like they actually look like people yeah. <laughs> running around. Yeah, it, it's pretty incredible. And the X360s and yeah. the Wii's and things. <laughs> yeah, there's way too much technology out there. <laughs> you, wonder, you wonder where the next 10 years are going to gonna you take know, us, eh? Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. You, and you can see, you know, a lot of the real virtual games. You know, you always see this, the sci-fi where a person would step into a box and they'd be in the game. Yes. Well, that's not so much sci-fi anymore. No. <laughs> that's, you know, you're thinking, yeah, okay, sure, that could happen. You know, oh, yeah. so. And it's going to transform our transportation yeah. systems as well. And yeah. Lots of things we do. The oh, computer yeah. is very pervasive in our society. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, exactly. Um, it is. Now, you know, from rudimentary beginnings. <laughs> from rudimentary beginnings. Now it will back up your car and help you drive. And Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's, it's pretty amazing. And I'm finding now, too, there's so much software out there for people with disabilities. Yes, the whole you know, other segment. Yes, that, it's that whole other segment where people that you know before wouldn't have that access to a computer. Mm -hmm. Now, with the software that's available to them, they're able to take advantage of using those computers to help them with very a lot of their different health issues, you right. know, whether it be mental health or a physical disability. So it's wonderful. And the devices too. That, yeah. That that uh, not just the computer, but yeah. the input output devices. Yes. The various uh, people the with disabilities. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. So. Well, this has been a great segment. Yeah, Bob. it has. Yeah. yeah. You really enjoyed it. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I definitely, you know, found it of interest. And of course, we're going to have all those all on our new PicTalk TV website. Um, archived. So, mm -hmm. and, yeah. Well, yeah, everything will be archived. So uh, looking forward to the next generation of <laughs> what's going to happen. So thank you so much. Okay, great. Nice so we'll talking talk to you, Marie. Yep. Thank you, Bob. Bye. Now you can access Computer Help Services through their website at computerhelpservices.on.ca and you know, contact Bob to find out some more information about the services they offer or if you're looking for a refurbished computer, check them out. Now my next guest today is Christine McComb from The Natural Way. Now Christine's not a stranger to People in Connection or PicTalk TV. Um, she has been on the show but quite a while ago she did her series 
And uh, now she's back. We're going to get some updates. Good morning, oh, Christine. Good I'm fine, right. thank you. Thank you for inviting oh, me here today. And she's got some goodies and with I'm her, too. To think of just a couple of things I want to put out here just oh, to give wonderful. you an idea of some of the things that I can help people with. And I'm looking for my oil specifically. <laughs> oh, she's got snacks, and too. And Look. Oh, I have snacks. She has snacks, too. We, we should put the snacks in. <laughs> <laughs> um, there she is. myself organized. <laughs> yeah, here I am. There we go. So how have you been? I have been excellent. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? I know you've been you were away a short time back. I was away for a couple of weeks back in March there. Yeah. And you know, you always need that little refreshing. You do. You know, you need that little break you once in a while. That stress relief thing going on. You know. Yeah. And of course, Christine's all about helping people relieve their stress. Now, people have been calling you something a little different these days. Now, what is this? I had a friend who said to me, "You need to call yourself the go-to stress person." But, yes. Because everything that I offer is stress related yeah. and we know that stress causes most of today's health challenges of course it does and we live in a very fast-paced high-tech world yes. which Bob's just been talking about mm -hmm. and uh, for people like me who are not computer savvy that could be very stressful as oh it was yeah. last night I had a got very angry with my computer last night <laughs> and um, Stress uh, causes reactions in the body, yeah. and that's the whole two ways about it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you think about um, walking along the road and you pass something that is a building or something that's giving off a really obnoxious smell, mm -hmm. before you actually even notice the smell, your body has already tensed. Yes. And now your body will say, oh, thought, smell, I don't like that smell. Mm -hmm. If you've just eaten a meal, you may have another reaction. That's right. And that is all, actually, although you say, well, what has that got to do with stress? That's stress that the body is reacting to, yes. an obnoxious smell. Going past a nice bakery, on the other hand, or a florist, you would walk past that and go, that smells really nice. You yes. might immediately feel calm. If you were a little uptight, a little tense, you might suddenly find yourself just feeling a little more calm as you carried on walking. Mm -hmm. This is how your body reacts to stress in our environment. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, stress is all around us every single day. And in some cases, though, I should say, some cases we're just, we can feel it. And we, we can. You can, you know, sometimes, you know, you have some stress and it's just part of your day. But sometimes I find, yeah, you can feel that stress right here. Yeah, you can feel yeah. it a little heart beating yeah. away. Yeah, you're, 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 <laughs> or you just feel that, have that tense feeling where your muscles yeah. feel a little tightened up. So what do we do? So what do we do? You come see me. Yeah. Um, and what do you do? What do I do? Well, that's even more important. <laughs> I am going to give you a couple of examples to okay. try and explain. I can say these are all the services I offer. Um, perhaps I should do. My, my background is healthcare. I'm a registered nurse for 40 years. And the last 20, about 18, 20 years, I've been more involved with complementary healthcare. Mm -hmm. And that was as a result of my own health challenges. Most of us don't know that we're stressed. Right. Because I didn't. A lot of things, when I look back, had gone on in my life in the previous 10, 15 years but they all culminated mm -hmm. when I was having to work full time, look after children, work shifts. And even then I still didn't accept I had stress. I learned a very hard lesson. <laughs> so I now offer aromatherapy in the form of a massage, uh, aroma reflexology. I offer Reiki, which is an energy healing and therapeutic touch. I also offer aromatherapy spa facials because you might say, well, that's just fun stuff. Yes, it is. But when you're lying down, you're receiving essential oils. You're also receiving energy healing, even mm -hmm. though you don't realize you're receiving healing as such. It's when you use it, you just sort of tend to use it. Uh, your facial will help you feel really good, but the process of having your facial mm -hmm. totally relaxes your body. Of course it does. So yeah. therefore, you are getting both. Mm -hmm. And I also, very important to me, more recently is nutrition because most of our allergies are brought about by nutrition mm -hmm. and it's absolutely huge and that's one thing I did forget to which it doesn't matter um, <laughs> so though that, that is what I offer now how do I actually put this into practice well I have a client who came to me probably about a year or so ago he was a long distance truck driver and uh, he came to me with neck and back pain, which kind of makes sense, you know, you're being a truck driver. Yes, of course. Yeah. He was a long distance truck driver, and um, 
As I talked to him more at our consultation, I learned a number of things. First, that he was a long distance, but he was away for a, somewhere between five and ten days at a time. Mm -hmm. This actually affected his marriage and his family life because of the stress involved with him being away from the home. Which creates more stress. Which creates more stress within him. Now, on the other side, because he was a long distance driver, he didn't want to make very many stops. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, he didn't drink very much. And I'm talking pure water here, clear water, fluids. He did start his day off with coffee, but it takes something like two cups of glasses of water to be able to get rid of the negative effects that are in coffee. So that wasn't good for him. He also ate a lot of fast foods, a lot of processed foods. Of course. Yes. So down went his nutrition of fruits and veggies. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the whole picture, there was a lot of stuff going on in his body. And it wasn't so much that his back and neck were painful because of an injury or the driving that had caused it. It was more of a fact that there was so much going on in his body, so much stress was being mm -hmm. created. He was tense. But he didn't feel tense, he just had pain. Yeah. So my answer to him was we, we um, started with a series of aromatherapy massages, which is using oil specific to his condition. So mm -hmm. I would use... Uh, in his case, I think I, I used to begin with a eucalyptus. I used uh, juniper berry. I would have used marjoram and probably lavender. Now, those oils are also very good to relieve stress mm -hmm. within themselves. Of so, therefore, I'm treating both the stress side of his mm -hmm. condition along with his physical part of his condition. Yeah. Because stress is always emotional, physical, and psychological. Mm -hmm. You nearly always have all three. You certainly always have yeah. two. Mm -hmm. So therefore you're treating many areas. And then the other part that I helped him with was nutrition and right. ways that he could bring in more water into his daily life while he was driving and bringing in more um, fruits and veggies into his diet without him really realizing that he was eating much different, more differently than the other guys he would meet at the truck stop. He was mm -hmm. just sort of changing his diet a little bit and we did that slowly so yeah. that it could become a habit right. as opposed to being told you have to do all this. Which yeah, and, we, and, and people well. don't want to hear no. that. You know, and, and, you're, and you're right, it's much easier to make that change gradually it is. You know, than to say, okay, that's it, I'm not doing this anymore, I'm going to do this yeah. completely. Some people can do that. But it's and that's usually, usually short, it's that's usually, usually when you're, yeah. you're on like one of these binge diets. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or, or, you know, to begin with, with this gentleman, I started with, I said, okay, we need to, you know, in my mind, I'm going, I need to get water into this person. Right. How can we do that? So we did the bottle, you know. I yeah. Took yeah. And now bottle. you have some things here that you put into a bottle. I do. Water. Actually, this is two in one. Yeah. Um, I don't have a bottle of water. May I have one in my purse? But That's okay. 500 mils of water, minimum. Yeah. So a bottle of water. Some people will use a bottle. Some people will use a jug of a, of a liter. They find it too sweet. Mm -hmm. This is a little what we call twist tubes. And in here, this is a particularly one is for... Uh, immune health. This is strawberry kiwi flavor mm -hmm. and this has got something like 1200 milligrams of vitamin C along with B vitamins which are all for stress. Your B vitamins are very much a stress relief uh, vitamin course. and an immune system yeah. builder. So this is a way to get water into you. If you don't like the flavor of water then the, the yeah. taste of regular water then flavor it. Mm -hmm. And we have these in fruits and veggie uh, to a tube that's equal to about two portions of fruits and veggies. Mm -hmm. um, we have one for joint health, if you have painful joints, mm -hmm. and we have, do, 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 trying to think, joint and sports for people who uh, work out. And okay. that one's very good because that one gives them the energy, again, B vitamins in that one, it gives them the energy to, and the endurance to be able to work oh, out. Oh, excellent. Yeah, and that one's really excellent. good. Excellent. So those are just a couple yeah. of ideas. Okay, so what are the other nutritional items? Um, that you the have other, I, well, I always promote the daily vitamin because... Yeah. Supplements are there. It's not a matter of selling a, a vitamin. It's a matter of supplements are there to fill in the gaps that are missing from your diet. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, today, our diet is not the greatest. No. And, uh, and even if you even think if you're we eating think health. we're eating, yeah. I was just going to say, yeah. very good. <laughs> even if we think we're eating healthily, the nutrients are just not in the food. Yeah. So therefore, taking a supplement today is becoming almost essential. Yeah. And if you're going to take a supplement, would it make sense to take an organic one or a synthetic one, and I leave that for the individual to decide yeah, what they want to do. Exactly. But it, that's just another way. Yeah. Um, I had a, a going back to stories. Um, I had a client who came to me. She'd had a, uh, recently had her ba a baby, mm -hmm. and uh, actually her second child, 
And she said to me, you know, ever since I had my second child, my feet hurt, like really hurt. And I thought, well, it could be just the fact that she's walking more, right. running around mm -hmm. after two children, yeah. a toddler and a baby. So we offered her reflexology. Now, I also include aromatherapy with my reflexology. Now, I realized in talking with her that her nutrition was also down because she was spending so much time with her children, she neglected herself. And we all do that as well as parents, as mm -hmm. mothers, you know, we of often course. put the family first. The reflexology session, um, she just felt so amazing afterwards. She said she felt like walking on, on cushions. Her feet felt oh, so good. Wonderful. The really good thing is that she came back to see me two weeks later because we decided on a two-weekly program mm -hmm. for a month. She said to me, you know, my feet still feel good. Yeah. And so that had lasted. Now, when you offer reflexology, your feet are a reflection of your body. Mm. So when we apply pressure to a certain area of the foot, we're actually stimulating a mm. corresponding organ. Of course. So in her case, there was probably a lot going on with her digestive system. Mm -hmm. She wasn't sleeping very well, right. which is understandable, and she wasn't eating very mm -hmm. well. So basically, we stimulated, yeah. we gave her whole body uh, a workout, yeah. and got her body functioning yeah. more efficiently. Oh, that's great. And again, she tried her mm -hmm. uh, to change, bring more water into her diet, bring more fruit into her diet on a gradual basis. Okay. And of course, Christine knows, can help but notice that I pulled this little bar out. And, yes. and, and so I did this for a really good reason, and partly selfish. Because well, we're just going to get this. <laughs> because I want this back. No, but I find what are most people's downfall is in their diet is the snacking. Yes. They're hungry between their meals, yes. they, and they think, oh man, and they reach for the donut the bagels, the things that don't have a whole lot of nutritional right. goodness, whereas something like this, I believe, has got a lot of protein. and uh, That is a snack bar. It has 100 protein. calories. Mm -hmm. I'm a chocoholic. <laughs> totally it, admit it's it. It's got good things in it. It's got chocolate. Yes, and, <laughs> and there are four different varieties, mm -hmm. again, those, but two of them are chocolate flavored, yep. are chocolate that comes yep. in the chocolate. So therefore, you get your chocolate fix. Mm -hmm. It's also a snack bar that will tide you over between meals. It yeah. has uh, proteins, carbs in, mm -hmm. in the product. Excellent. It tastes great, and um, it's a really good way of just getting a little bit of nutrition into yeah. you, fulfilling your need for chocolate, in my case, yeah. or fulfilling your yeah. need to have something to eat. Yeah, exactly, and I see meal. this has got things like uh, oatmeal in it. Yeah. So, you know, it takes a long time to digest. It's a better. So, yes, yeah, it stays system. with you a lot longer. And so it does tide you through and without having the that car, that carb, that yep. huge carb intake that a lot of people end up with, whether it's, you know, whether it's, say, whether it's a, you know, a bread product or chips or something like that. So, so I think this is a really, really good idea for I people that are really yep. trying to, you know, to get their weight under control, trying to live a little bit healthier lifestyle. Things like this are definitely a great alternative. I agree with you. Nu um, nutrition is key. I mean, that's only, but really mm -hmm. nutrition is only part of what I'm doing. I, by relieving the stress through the therapist, particularly energy healing, which can be a hard one. That was a very hard mm -hmm. one for me to be able to absorb right. now. I just use it all the time. Therapeutic touch is really a hands or just not touching the body. I often start with a touch, but it's building into the energy field yes. around your body. Mm -hmm. Reiki is more actually placing your hand on a person and moving through it around the body in that respect. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you feel, and that is always part of my treatment yes. because of it being a hand-on treatment. Uh, Reiki is always taking place. And I think that is what creates the calming, mm -hmm. the reduction of anxiety and tension so that your body now actually starts to heal. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. And of course, you know, I, we can tell that Christine practices what she preaches because she looks fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming on the You're show welcome. today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you can eat those. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. You can have a gummy bear. These are amazing. It's like gummy bears. <laughs> oh, what there what we go. child wouldn't have that, you know? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> thank you, Christine. It's not coming off very well. Thank you. So check out Christine's website, thenaturalway.ca, and, and find out what you can do to help you relieve your stress. And our next guest is Dot High from the Mountain Theater.
Hello, Dot. Good morning. How are you? I'm sorry, we were so busy talking about all those hey, yummy hey. things Hi. and all those <laughs> wonderful things that are good for us. I know. Hey, you yeah. know what? That's, that's <laughs> great. I learned something, too. Yeah. Snacking. See, <laughs> see those healthy snacks, yes. <laughs> You know, one of my weaknesses in life, so that's why I Absolutely. also wanted to point that out. Uh, because the more I read, the more I figure that that's a really smart idea. So <laughs> oh yeah, good for you. Yeah. So what's going on? We got some, you know, lots of things here. Oh my here. goodness! Oh, oh, because uh, besides, of course, our show that we do of here. Of course. Thank you so much <laughs> because it's such a lovely venue. Um, but you have a lot of things coming up. We have. Uh, something coming up with the Middletown Dreams tribute to Rush. This is a local band. Mm -hmm. uh, please come out and support the local band. Uh, these guys are really do a great yeah. job. And uh, the tickets are only twelve fifty. Well, that's a great deal. I know. That is I, a really I, great price for yes. the theater here. And they're they're really good. You can listen to them on they don't have a website but they do they are on Facebook and yeah. you know they're always talking and everything back and forth <laughs> and um, you know come on out support the, our local band support the theater mm -hmm. and have a good time too well yeah exactly you know enjoy the <laughs> and, and enjoy the venue and just, I think that's really great George and I uh, you know are really big on supporting the local oh, arts yes. and they want to see you know more of the local you know entertainment up here at the theater yes. and uh, I think that's just so wonderful to support the community well, and you know what? That's what it's all about. Yeah. I mean, such to have such a beautiful venue mm -hmm. and not be used, yeah. that's the shame. That's, yeah, that's the sad part. That's yeah, the shame. Yeah, there's nothing you to know, we just, we would just want to make sure that, you know, people get to enjoy and see yeah. how gorgeous this place is. And exactly. the sound is just oh, yeah, the sound ridiculous. Is the it's so good. Yeah. Oh, yes. So what else is it going well, what else we June 2nd, we <laughs> yeah. have our street fest, and yes. boy, I'll tell you, every day it's something different with, you know, what, what else we're going to be doing on June 2nd. So Friday, we found out from uh, Betty, who's the president yes. of the BIA, uh -huh. she said, you know what, there's a girl on the street that just came in, and she's got a CD out. She works Perfect. at Mario's right beside you. <laughs> And she is amazing. She she's a folk singer. Oh, wonderful. Uh, so I'll tell you, and she is. She came in, and what she's going to do on the second, because we're going to be the cool zone. Right. So people can come in. They can cool off from the mm -hmm. warm day, or if yeah. it's raining, they can you know come in from the rain. Um, they can get something to drink. They can drink in the theater. They can eat in the theater. Mm -hmm. Just have a little snack, that kind of thing. Um, and this girl, her name is uh, Yitka, Yitka Karlik. And she is going to be singing in between. Like we're going to have a half an hour, like for instance, um, Catherine mm -hmm. is coming in for yes, laughter yoga. Laughter yoga. We're going to have some She's going to yoga. start everybody off that day. Perfect. And then, and then Yitka is going to sing. Okay. And uh, Cole is going to come in and play the organ here and mm -hmm. play some really good tunes. Uh, and he's, a, he's really, really good. He comes in and makes sure it's tuned in and tuned up and all that every, okay. every once in a while. And he also teaches. Oh, He also excellent. teaches, mm -hmm. me, you know, uh, anybody how to, uh, yeah. to play mu the, the organ and that. So, um, And then we have Brian Owen that's going yep. to be here. Uh -huh. uh, he's going to give us some tips and tri tricks and tips on LED lighting. Oh, oh. Excellent. So, yeah. you know, it's going to mm -hmm. be an education too. And BIA, uh, the Hamilton Mountain BIA, and the, uh, the Mountain um, Heritage okay. is, has donated so many amazing pictures of the theater, the concession street in the past. Oh, beautiful. So we're going to have yep. all those up on display yep. for people to see. Oh, that's great, yeah. And, a little, a little um, bit of history and absolutely, heritage. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So that's going to be really good for, for a lot of people to see. Great. And also we're, we're one of the registration yep. zones. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a few more, but uh, there's going to be registration. 
And you guys are going to do something, are you? Yes, we are. Oh. Yes, yes, we're going to do a little uh, PicTok TV live that day. And uh, so it's going to be really exciting, yeah. Wow, I am looking so forward to it. Yeah, it, so it is. it's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah. it's a great time for us to promote the launch of our uh, the, the, the new format for the shows and opening yeah. that up to the community. So we're really excited about that. Yeah. Good going. Yeah. That's going to be great. Yeah. It's going to be nice having you guys and wait till you see the color t-shirts we got for you. <laughs> we're going to be bright. Yes, you're going to be bright. Be really bright. <laughs> you will know where we are. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to it be is. a lot of fun. And, and you've got another big event coming up in June. Absolutely. We have got Billy V coming in yep. and uh, I lost his poster. <laughs> oh, I dropped it somewhere along the way. <laughs> but yeah, Billy but, V is a, a, oh, a, he is a great act. Yes. Um, this guy, if you check him out on YouTube, I think we should get some video embedded in the Mountain Theater yeah. website. But his YouTube video, they have an amazing backup <gasps> band, oh, instruments, instrumental. Oh, it's just incredible. And he is an amazing singer. I Absolutely know. amazing singer. So we know a lot of people are going to be very interested in getting out for that. Now, and I know you guys are you know, really supporting local or organizations yeah. through the theater, through your ticket sales, and I think that also is a wonderful thing for you guys to be doing as well. Yeah. Yeah. Giving back. And you know, that's what we you know, the nice thing about us being in our own businesses mm -hmm. is that we have that ability to give back to the community, you know, by being involved with different things. Yes. Yeah. And that's what I love and it's just it's so nice working with the BIA on the mountain yeah. and uh and with with the the whole street. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be fantastic. Oh. I can't believe the things are going on that day. <laughs> so um, Good going. Excellent. Good and of course, the theater's always open here um, weekdays from and Saturday from 12 yep. to 5. Absolutely. Um, call up, book an appointment, tour the theater. Now, if you've got an event, like, you know, a business event, uh, seminars that you want to put on, if you're in the entertainment industry, give them a call because this, mm -hmm. this is the perfect venue for doing anything like that. Absolutely. You know, talent shows, music uh, festivals. You know, if you've got your own little act, you want to rent the whole theater for a <laughs> private event, you know, um, one of the things they're, of course, uh, making available here at the theater is for people that want to do a little alternative style wedding, if they want to oh. do a theater wedding. Yes, so, you know, there's, you know, a lot of great ways. Just this place up. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, you know, bows on the pe on the pews. Oh, you know, yes. Just, you know, the theater is here and they got the pew style and Absolutely. soft seats, beautiful soft seating. So, yeah, it's a great venue for anything that people want to do. And don't forget, we're having our first ever meeting here from 1 to 3 on Friday. Yes, and that's right. Yes, our uh, I free network. Yes, yes. Did you already do it? That's okay. No, <laughs> hey, it's a free networking event. Open up to anybody in the community that wants to come out. And, you know, just do a little meet and mingle. Um, the snack concession is open. Yep. You know, if you won't need to get yourself a beverage or something. Um, lots of parking in the area. You know, the meter parking uh, around the corner here is 50 cents an hour. Or there's street parking on the side streets. Lots of places that you can park. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, come on down and, and <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> Well, thank you, Dot. I look forward to, um, your, of course, your next big event. Yes, yes. absolutely. And Please and come out. And <laughs> seeing all the great things that are yeah. going to be happening here. At the and I'm looking forward to Tuesday night. Yes, <laughs> me too. It's going to be very exciting. Thank well, you. Thanks so much for coming thank on the you. show. Okay. And of course, you can always join us as a guest on PickTalk TV. As I say, it's starting in June. We are opening this up you know, to the community at large. Anybody that would like to come on the show, there is no cost to come on the show. If you would like to be a sponsor of PickTalk TV, we'd be glad to speak to you about sponsorship and getting great exposure for your business. And you can come online to peopleinconnection.com and contact us or through our site peopleinconnection.net. Check out our online community. And uh, a lot of the people that are involved, we'd be very happy to talk to you. So that's it for our show for this week. My name is Marie Mushy. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>